Okay, it's okay. Okay, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Jazz Record Art Collective. Thank you very much for joining us tonight, wherever you are. Tonight, we have the Paul Matsuba Quartet performing Pat Martino's 1994 release, Interchange. Uh, as we do with all of our performances here at the Fulton Street Collective, is accompanied by a live visual artist. Our visual artist tonight is the very familiar Arthur Wright. He is in the lower left-hand side of your screen. He will be sketching and painting the band as they perform. And in between sets and at the end of the show, you can purchase his work. How do you do that? On the lower left-hand side of your screen uh, is how we're taking care of the band. That's how we're taking care of the artist. If you would like to donate to Fulton Street Collective so we can keep doing these performances, that'd be great too. Uh, there's no cover charge. There's no online ticketing. We keep everything accessible for you to enjoy and enjoy the art, enjoy the music, and have some fun and hopefully take your mind off the news for a while. So uh, we're going to start the show because everybody's here and ready to go. So on drums, we have Greg Archery. <laughs> on bass, Larry Kohut. <laughs> on guitar, Neil Alger. And on piano, Paul Matsuba. Thank you. 
Hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be here at Fulton Street Collective making music with these gentlemen. Uh, as Chris had mentioned, we are doing the uh, Pat Martino record, Interchange. And that first song is entitled Catch. It really, that tune has kind of become, I don't know if, uh, if an anthem is the right word, but whenever I have seen Pat play in, in concert, that song makes the cut and it's always a blast. So it's really, uh, really fun to have gotten the chance to play that tune. I gotta catch my breath for a second here. Um, this record is a, uh, for me, a pretty influential record uh, on, on a number of accounts. The first of which, um, for those of you who may not be familiar with Pat Martino's story, is that in, uh, in 1980, he, uh, he had a brain aneurysm which rendered him incapable of playing his instrument as a result of amnesia. And over the course of the next maybe 10 to 12 years, he relearned to play by essentially listening to records that people said, yeah, this is you playing from the 60s and the 70s. You sound like this. And he essentially relearned how to, how to play guitar and to play like him. And that is a, quite a miraculous feat. And so that is uh, not only an inspiring story on its own, but it was a particularly inspiring story for me because I, uh, I came to this record right around the time when I was deciding to make music professionally, when I was uh, maybe 19 or 20. And it was just a, it was a really, good, really good push in the direction of this music is really exciting, go for it. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty influential record to me for those reasons, and I'm so thrilled to be making this music with these gentlemen. How about a hand again at home and the few of us in the room, we got Neil Alger on the guitar. We got, uh, we got Greg Archery on the drums, of course. And we have uh, Larry Kohut on the bass. We'll get into some more interesting facts about the record as the evening progresses, but uh, let's get back to the music. This is uh, the second cut. This is entitled Black Glass. <laughs>
Thank you very much. That was Black Glass. That is the second cut. And I think that uh, that might be my favorite tune. It's very harmonically dense and uh, very expansive in its, uh, in its harmony. And uh, I, I was reminded as I was preparing for this gig, um, knowing that Neil was also on the gig, I remember he said something to me so many years ago, and the term has just stuck with me. He referred to himself as a harmony junkie. <laughs> and I knew in that moment, yeah, I like this guy. This is, this is very much how I, how I think. And so to play a tune like that with Neil is really a, really a, a pleasure because it's so, there's just so much going on, but it, feels, it just feels so good. And one of the things about Pat's playing and his writing is that there can be, there can be that sort of um, complexity in the harmony, but melodically it feels super soulful. And those two, those two uh, ju that juxtaposition is just something that really attracts, uh, attracts me to his music. As I mentioned, uh, Pat Martino's story with the amnesia and the aneurysm um, is really a triumphant one. And this record, Interchange, marked the first studio record post relearning how to play the guitar like himself. And uh, you know, his earlier output in the 60s and 70s has just a ton of really great music, really stellar records. I even considered doing one of those for this, uh, this concert, but I thought that Given our times, that uh, sort of a, a before and after type story like his and this record seemed appropriate. So, I don't know, kind of uh, that story and this music gives me hope for whatever's on the other side of what we got going on now. We're going to continue with uh, the title track of the record. This is called Interchange.
Okay, that's Paul Muspa Quartet, Greg Archery on drums, Larry Kohut on bass, Neil Alger on guitar, Paul Mutzba on piano. Uh, that's side one. We're going to take a short break, and then the band is going to play side two. In the interlude, the uh, break here, you can take a look at Arthur's work, which is on the lower right-hand right side of your screen. We're also going to bring out some of his work that he's done earlier tonight and put it right in front of you. Why? So you can buy it. So you can be generous. You can be cool and buy some artwork, and uh, you can take care of the band on the lower left-hand side of your screen. No cover charge, no doorman. Um, we want to make everything accessible, so please be generous, and we'll see you in about uh, 10, 15 minutes. Stick around.
care kids who were considered a, a mistake or a problem for somebody else. those times my moms could get a box of grits for 19 cents and that's what we had three times a day on the real low days we would have biscuits individual biscuits and bake them butter them hot and allowed us to eat with our fingers and we had died and gone to heaven <laughs> He would not be limited by anything. I didn't have to, but I struggled with college. So uh, after my sophomore year, I was dismissed from the university. I knew he would be very hurt by it. The next day, uh, he called the school. He just knew there was a president, and that's who he wanted to speak to. So I then we are back please welcome back to the stage playing drums tonight is Greg Archery <laughs> on bass Larry Kohut at guitar Neil Alger and at piano Paul Matsuba
Thank you very much. Uh, welcome back, or welcome in the first place, for those of you joining us uh, for the second set. We are uh, doing the Pat Martino record interchange, and that was uh, the fourth track, and that is called Just For Then. Uh, we're going to move forward with the next tune on the record, and this is a uh, what has become a standard in the jazz repertoire, and it's one of my very favorite tunes. And uh, without any further ado, this is Blue and Green.
Thank you so much. That was blue and green, and uh, a round of applause is deserved for, uh, for Mr. Larry Kohut on the bass. Larry and I have uh, logged countless hours of music and hanging together, and uh, one of, just a dear friend, and I, I, I appreciate so much the opportunity to make music with you, and uh, it's been quite a long time since that's happened and yet it feels like no time's passed at all. Thanks, Larry, it's really great. We also have, of course, Greg Archery on the drums. It's always such a pleasure to make music with Greg as well. It's, it's equal parts uh, comfortable, encouraging, sensitive, and surprising. And what more could you ask for, really? It's just such a pleasure, man. It's awesome, thank you. Uh, we have also Neil Alger on the guitar, of course. It's, uh, it's really a pleasure to make, make, make music with Neil. Um, playing gigs with multiple comping instruments can, uh, can sometimes be a little bit of a lucha libre, uh, a little bit of a fight if, uh, 
if, if folks aren't sensitive and if, if folks are, are, don't have a, sort of their ears at high alert. And Neil, that's the only, that's the only uh, setting his ears have. So it's, it's really a pleasure to be in this environment, to enjoy him, to be inspired by him. And uh, yeah, thanks for doing the gig, man. It's great. We also have, of course, Arthur Wright with the glorious painting. It's really wonderful. Uh, I did one of these uh, jazz record art things a little while back uh, doing a weather report gig and Arthur was on that. And I was very excited to see that he was gonna be on this one because I remember enjoying his work thoroughly on that. And come on now, look, it just looks, it, it's beautiful, really beautiful. We also have Kenny running the sound, as I, as I like to say. This music doesn't really make it, it doesn't make its way to you without, uh, without someone who's putting in a serious amount of care in the audio. So especially in an environment like this, where this is the only way that it can be heard, really appreciate uh, people like him. So thank you, Kenny. And of course, Chris Anderson and everyone here at Fulton Street Collective, um, so appreciative of this opportunity. I was, I was watching the gig yesterday. Uh, Ashley Summers mentioned uh, that she's going to have to start calling you St. Christopher, and I think that's uh, it's totally appropriate. This, uh, this situation that's going on right here is really, it's really um, a blessing for us to have, and it's, uh, it's done in such a way that it's so safe and so comfortable, such that all we, all we need to focus on is making music, and that's, that's not easy to do in these times, so thank you, Chris. We are going to close this evening with the final tune of the record, and this is entitled Recollection. Really appreciate everyone tuning in from wherever you're from, whether you're from here in Chicago. I think I might have some folks up in, the, up in Ontario watching, down in Mexico City, muchísimas gracias, and maybe tomorrow some friends in, uh, in Germany. Vielen Dank. Wherever you're from, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Recollection.
right. That is Paul Muspa Quartet, Greg Archery on drums. Come on, everybody around the world, put your hands together. Larry Kohut on bass. Neil Alger on guitar. On paints, brushes, and canvas, Arthur Wright. And at piano, Paul Mutzba. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we are back here on Friday with the album release Forward by Chad McCullough. Uh, actually, Paul Mutz will be back here for that. He's on keys. Uh, we have Matt Eulery on bass, John Deitenmeyer on drums, uh, Paul Bedell on piano, and Chad's going to be playing, I think he's playing trumpet that night. Um, the visual artist that night is Ryan Miller, so please come back for that. Same time, same station. Uh, on your lower left-hand side of your screen, please be generous, please be kind. I'm sure you've been looking at it all night while listening to the music and deciding, should I do this? Yes, you should do it, because that's how we're taking care of the band, the artist, and Fulton Street Collective. So please be generous. And that's about it. I think, uh, let's give it up for Kenny on sound. And uh, that's about it. We're going to show a few pieces of uh, that Arthur has done, including the big one, the little ones. And we're going to, that's about it. So we'll see you Friday night. Thank you so much. Until then, keep your mask on.